All right, so I'm back, and I'm going to talk about what I've got done so far. Um, so, with going going with buying everything individually, I did a little consulting with my buddy Roger because uh, he was in the military and he does have a few firearms himself and um, so I wanted to consult with him on things to look for in building a good or decent AR-15 and I understand the basics you know the barrel is important the bolt carrier group is important the trigger is important mill spec, mil spec is important but anyway I was going through some parts that I've picked out through a number of websites, uh, Palmetto State, Brownells, uh, uh, Wing Tactical, Right to Bear, um, Optics Planet, Glock Store, and more. Um, but after talking to them, I, I, I've come to the conclusion that when it comes to the barrel and the bolt carry group that it needs to fall it needs to have the the uh, what what is it the MPI and HB tested which is magnetic particle inspected and and high pressure test so what I have so far, I'm going to start from tip to receiver. From the tip, uh, F1 firearms. This is the muzzle brake. It's got a sloped nose. And the reason I got this, I scratched it. The reason I got this was because the handguard is from uh, phase five. There we go. It's from phase five. And it's 15 and a half inches long. M lock all at the six, nine, and three o'clock. Uh, it's not, doesn't have the Picatinny reel all the way across the top, but I'm okay with that. But it did have the slope nose, and I like that look. So that's why I bought this first, and I bought that after. The barrel is by Odin Works, uh, it is 16.1 inches long. Chambered in 223 Wild with a 1 in 7 twist, stainless steel. And when buying that, they threw in a free adjustable gas block because that's what Odin does, I think. And uh, so, yeah, that's, that's going to look sexy if you can see it. And then next, I bought the Spikes Tactical um, gas tube. And currently the barrel is attached to the Aero Precision upper receiver. And here is my Rainier Arms bolt carry group. Uh, it is nickel boron coated for easy cleaning and it just looks sexy. I didn't want the black one. I wanted something a little more pretty. And so that one fit the budget. It's expensive, but not the most expensive. And then for the Ford Assist, I got the Strike Industries uh, uh, red anodized Ford Assist. And coming in later this week, I'll get the Strike Industries um, red anodized dust cover. But right now I'm stuck because I have attached the barrel. I've torqued down the barrel nut to 37 foot pounds of torque. I initially hit 35, tried to line up the hand guard to the upper and it wasn't doing it. So I gave it a little more force and my vice started to pull itself from the table. Uh, this table is compressed wood. It's not real solid wood and so it's just the screws are just pulling itself out so i gotta go to home depot get some two by fours and build a structure here so that i can attach that to be more stable and sufficient so i can 
finish this off. But before I finish this off, I ordered some shims. So I can just push this out just a little bit more to get that on here. And once I get that on there, I'll put everything else on. Um, so yeah, that is that is where I'm at right now. Oh, also with the up, I got the 6R Sour Sawyer Whiskey 3 scope. It's 3 to 9 magnification. Uh, it's got decent reviews, uh, especially for the price. It was under $200, and that was perfect for me. Uh, the Warner scope mount was also anodized red. I couldn't find too many anodized red uh, scope mounts, and Warner seemed to be a reputable company. And over here, I have offset iron sights. Ugh. I can't push it hard enough. I'm going to scratch up my ring. There we go. Yeah, so I'm going to have the angled irons. And i got a bipod over there, a sling, but that's unimportant. But yeah, that's, uh, that's where I'm at right now. So once I get those shims in, I'll attach the, attach the handguard to the upper and come have a complete upper assembly for my AR. That won't happen until like later this week. But tomorrow is a big day for me. Tomorrow I start my paperwork for my strip lower that I bought two weeks ago. But that will be in the next video.